Hey everybody, Stephen Noel. We are at the Portland RV Show. We're gonna go inside, take a look at some truck campers. Come along with us. Hey. We are in Arctic Fox 811, right? Yes. 811. This one is called Wind Swept Serenity. Looks exactly like ours as far as the interior package. This one is $55,327. Pretty spendy. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's not a whole lot different than a 990. It's a little bit smaller. You'll notice. Um, yeah, give us the tour. Yeah, so this is pretty much close to a 990. It's just a little bit smaller. Is all has the drawers underneath the benches, the same exact refrigerator, freezer that we have. Um, same little spice rack. It seems like a little bit nicer oven and grill, honestly, or stove top. This is the same oven that we have and it's it's perfectly fine. I was looking at this on the 1150. It's the same baskets. Like Northwood doesn't really listen. Like if I were a manufacturer, I'd have somebody on the Facebook groups and look what people are changing out and then make those small changes. Northwood so, doesn't really do that. Why what do you people say that? what people like to change out on these see how they're tapered in it's it is minor but it is still a taper and so not a lot of stuff actually fits in here so a lot of people if steve has all the woodworking tools and storage but if we had access to him i know he would have already made us boxes that you could fit more things into and that would just be more efficient to use um it's a, it, I was pretty excited about the pantry at first. It's okay. Um, same, no drawers or no dividers for shelves. Ah, this one does. Hey, that's nice. Mm. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, look at that. I love it. Yay. So that's a simple thing that can make a lot of people happy <laughs> and you don't have to spend your own time and money making your own setup like that so that's pretty cool um otherwise this is pretty much the same as a 990 it's just a little bit smaller bedding's the same as what we have in storage we just put it away um, i like the steps right there yeah, on the left i like this too it makes it super easy to climb up into um yeah, really easy. This is still a hanging closet, so if you wanted hanging, you could. It has the countertop. So we were just hanging out with a, a sales guy from Apache. Is that what it's called? Apache Campers or something? Yes. Here in Portland. He said they have four stores in Portland. And he said that they sell a lot of Northern Lights and a lot of Arctic Foxes. But those are the two highest sellers, the two best made. Um, and one thing that I didn't realize that's pretty interesting is that he said, if you really think about it, the top name in truck campers are made in the Pacific Northwest. So our Northwoods, which is Arctic Fox and Wolf Creeks, they're made in La Grande, Oregon. Um, Northern Lights are made in Kelowna, BC. And in a town just north of there, I don't remember what he said, maybe he couldn't remember the name, is where Bigfoots are made. So he gave us a little tea on that, I guess back sometime, I don't know when it was, in the past. It was a family business who was making Northern Lights, and then they had a big brouhaha, and the brothers fell out. And now one brother makes Northern Lights, and one brother makes Bigfoots. So... Um, spilling a little tea on the truck camper biz. So back in the back, you can see that there are 12 volts, there are USB and there are electrical plugins. 
um, let me let me fix let me rephrase that. There's not 12 volts in the back. There's a 12 volt right here, so that you go to connect a TV to it. Um, in this particular unit, it might be a little harder. You'd have to get quite a swivel to have that TV come out and then watch it from your dinette set. Um, I think that just about everybody we know really watches TV from reclining in bed, so it's not a big deal if, if it doesn't swing out. Um, yeah, but it's a really well-made, beautiful camper and you can't really go wrong with an Arctic Fox. They're four season. We've done pretty good in ours in all four seasons. So I like them. Price, $55,000. So 55,000 gets you everything, including solar on the roof. Solar, you get 45 watts. So you Does it have a want... generator? No, I don't see a generator on this list. Hmm. This is 811, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, did, I didn't see it on the list. I'm not sure if it's an option. Let me look. No generator space. So you're going to be reliant on your battery. You're going to be reliant on what you can get from solar or shore power. Uh, you could certainly jack up, add more solar to the roof and more battery. Uh, dry weight is about 3,200 pounds. So it's heavy. It's solid. It's made for four seasons. So you kind of pay for that in the weight. I like the layout. This is this is so similar to what we have. There are just tiny, tiny differences in the layout. Ours is a 2020. This is a 20. Is this a 23 or 24? 23, I think. Yeah. So design-wise, there's not a lot of difference between this and what we have. Bathrooms are identical. Yeah. Bathroom. Except that now we have a fancy new toilet. Slight difference. Yeah, our toilet's on an angle. Yeah. So. Room here, toilet paper's up here. I like that actually. In ours, the toilet paper is over on the wall. So when you're showering or whatever, uh, it's always a chance to get it wet. It's nice here. I have lots of room. So I have six, eight inches above my head to the top of the skylight. So I can shower with the shower head above me, or I can stand here and I'm not looking out the gun turret like I was on the Wolf Creek. So. There's room to move it, and that's kind of nice. I like that. So space is good. I come in first to make a little short. So if you're wondering why I'm always sitting in here while Steve is coming in, because I'm making shorts. So this is an Arctic Fox 992. So it has a bathroom here in the middle and it has a dry bath but it makes the bat the bedroom pretty private or secluded your choice i think secluded and hard to get to you might think it's private check it out Okay, so like I mentioned, we like the 12 volt connection. You can put right here, you could mount a 12 volt TV. It doesn't have to be 12 volt, it could be 120 as well. So you got your connections for cable and the antenna. So that's nice when you're in an RV park or when you want to use the antenna that's on top. Layout back here, this is very similar to what you'll see on the other Arctic Foxes. You've got the well over there where you can pack your stuff. You've got a hanging closet top on each side. You've got USB plugs, 120 volts on each side. You've got a little light there. The switch on the far right controls some lights that are at the top here. A challenge for us about the 992 is the entryway. So in our camper van, Noel had to climb over me to get out because I, I actually my feet stick off the end of the bed. So in here, we recognize like if we're in here sleeping, well, I was literally going to have to crawl over me and then crawl out here. So we didn't like the confined space. Uh, it just, it was not going to be practical for us at night. Other than that, this is similar to the other Arctic Foxes. It's got a nice cabinet over here. Same thing that we have in the 990, just located in a different position. Same challenge with the 
the slanted shelves or rack, whatever you want to call those. Bathroom. Now we're getting into dry bath territory. So the idea, the idea of a dry bath is that you can completely enclose your shower area. The water stays in there, and then everything out here, your toilet, the commode, whatever, stays dry. We found that the the wet bath that we have in our 990, uh, we actually, when we take a shower, we'll spray around the toilet, spray the wall a little bit, and then we squeegee everything off. So it's just kind of an extra opportunity to clean the bathroom and keep it nice and tidy. But this is nice by being a dry bath. We've also got some shelves or cabinets, little cabinets that you can use here to put little things like, this would be like toiletries, toiletries I guess, shampoo sized. Looks like a tilting, a tilting mirror, I guess. Uh, I was expecting that to be a medicine cabinet, sorry. And then I guess this would be your medicine cabinets over here. Nice lights, yeah. It's a nice layout. That's nice. Yeah. Got a big deep cabinet here. This is nice. Again, common theme for us. Usable space, not just space. Don't just give me a big thing like this. Help me use it effectively. So here they've got like a bracket on the top. So I think the thinking here is that you'll hang jackets in here. We don't hang jackets. We don't hang shirts. This is how we dress. Things that we can fold up, wad up, and stick in a box. So I'm not sure what we would really do practical space with this. We would have to build some kind of shelves in here just to, you can't, we, well you can, but we wouldn't want to have like four feet here of just stuff piled on top of each other. So you need some shelves to make it a little more useful. Can be a little shelves. Tiny little shelves. I like, the, handy. I like the use of, I like the, the practice of trying to make use of every available space. That's good. Got the three burner stove. Nice. It works. We use three burner stoves a lot of the time when we're going to cook uh, a more elaborate meal. Like breakfast, typically we're going to have coffee. Uh, lunch, we may have noodles, like one pot, like one pot for breakfast. And then dinner, we may have a vegetable, we may have a main dish, and we may have something else. So it's not uncommon, terribly uncommon for us for dinner that we're actually using all three burners. So if we were going to buy one again, I would still go with something that had a three burner. Stove, same thing we have. Big space here. Big space is nice. Honestly, when I'm cooking in the oven, I raise the rack high. We have issues with getting even heat in here. So I raise the rack typically to the second from the top. So I'm getting the most amount of heat I can from the oven. So based on that, I would be just fine if we got a oven that was half of this size, like a lot of the other models are showing us. Give me less space and give me more room down here where I can store stuff. Standard here. Space under the sink. You can put your, your wet stuff. A couple drawers. This down here, this is where we keep uh, like plastic bags, like Ziploc bags and stuff. We, we kind of struggle really to have a good use for that. More storage up here. I have some. You got this one? Yeah. So the bench back here is different seating so you've got the two seats next to each other the table here well it's a bench seat is it comfortable yeah yeah again though i would have a shorter table or i would even put maybe two tables i know they keep it long so that they can use it as the base for when you make this into a bed so so this one folds down into a bed yeah it slides just it's like a futon so it just slides down into a bed table goes down and then this comes over so is this the I think this is the first futon we've seen. It's not yeah? it's not really a futon but it's that style. Futon ish. <laughs> well honestly I like this better than I do the elevated beds. I do too. Yeah. This seems like you might use it. Yeah, it does seem that way. This is the 2024 Arctic Fox 992. It's in your driveway on your truck for $66,000. 
66,000 does not include a generator, a solar, or not entirely clear here from their spec sheet what we've got here. So it says it's generator ready, satellite ready, and solar ready. But then in another section on here, it says that it has 400 watts of solar. So let's just say you have the potential to have uh, solar on here. Maybe it's already here, I don't know. I don't see any solar like panel, so maybe it's hidden somewhere. Uh, generator ready, that makes me think there is not a generator on here. So yours, 66,000 bucks. Arctic Fox 990, so 2024. Yep, 2024. So this is the same layout as ours, it's a 990. So the differences that we see when we walk in here, uh, back material is different. So better, different. <laughs> That's what I think too. This material is different. So they've taken some steps, I guess, to try to freshen it up some. Uh, same. We talked with the, the dealer and his input was that not a whole lot has changed. We see a few things. Uh, over here, this is the same. We've got the same opening. Ours ends right here. So. Oh yeah, you don't have an upper cabinet. There's no upper cabinet on ours. This is nice though, but we but do. But it has shelving. It has shelving. It's got an attachment out here to hook up your TV to it. That's good. The top. Uh, it's basically the same. The same on this side. Uh, it's oh, got a shelf. Upper because on it the has top. A, yeah. Yeah, you don't have an upper shelf. Yeah. So. Very similar. Yeah. There, there is Colors are not very much different. Like they put different bedding, but this is the same, isn't it? That's a little different. But what same. does ours look like? <laughs> it's a little different than this. <laughs> Faucet's different. Is that the same sink we have? Yeah, I think yeah, it's I close. Think so. Yeah. The generator in the 2024 uh, 990 Arctic Fox is different than the generator we have in our 2020 Arctic Fox 990. Uh, it's supposed to be quieter. They're guessing 30% quieter. Uh, I've read on like the Facebook groups, people are saying it's significantly more quiet. Uh, I, I haven't heard one run, haven't like done any measurements to see if it's actually any quieter, but quieter, at least in my mind, is better. Uh, ours is a loud, loud beast. <laughs> but honestly, if you really, really want a like in-depth review of an Arctic Fox 990, we'll stick a link either here or here somewhere, click on the link and we'll spend an hour. More time than you care about. Touring around our Arctic Fox 990. Let's see if there's anything different in the bathroom before we wrap it up. Same? Uh, same. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yep. Same, same. So just between you and me, it's, it's really like challenging for me. Like some of the things in our Arctic Fox right now have worn out and we need to replace them. So like our, this part of the seat cushion is worn out, yeah. the cushions. So it's tempting to want to come in here with like a screwdriver and a knife <laughs> and just harvest like the parts we need. Yeah, like, and look at that carpet, how nice it is. I know. That carpet is so beat down. Yeah, I'll show you on ours later, but one of the challenges I'm having is this plastic section in ours has broken. So, this won't go here anymore. I have to put it up here. When you put it, when you put it up here, then you can't put in like your big containers of milk or anything like that. So I've been trying to find like a new door, door and Let me know when the time comes. just not having a lot of success. So it makes me want to do just a little bit of shopping while we're here. Just close that quickly. Nice. This is just like our Arctic Fox. It's just smooth and round and it's fine, but it's just like that. Well, 2024, they made them um, with this new design 
and if you can see it, there's a difference in the height. And because of this new design on the front end, it allows them to put that archway inside the bed area in addition to inside the living area. So I'm pretty sure Steve's going to be able to sit up in the bed area of 1150. Yeah, so it's a little bit different shape up there, a little bit taller. Okay, so we just realized that if you look at the happy jacks underneath there. So the original kind, the original front end, this one is actually raised a little bit higher than the newer one. And then if we come back out here, you can see that you have more room all together. You, you can see where there's more room in the cab over. So what you're saying is if you were to lower this uh -huh. to the same height as this. This would still be significantly yeah. taller. Yeah. So that's how they get the extra room inside there to put the archway inside of it. So maybe the 1150 will be open now and we'll be able to go inside. Let's go check it out. Fancy meeting you here. Okay, so we came back into the Arctic Foxy 1150. We sat in here for a little while chatting with one of the guys from the show here. We've learned a lot. So you can see the Arctic Fox curved roof. But what's super cool about the 2024 is curved roof in the bedroom area. Um, it's, a, it's pretty sweet. So 1150 is basically a 990 but longer. And because it's longer, you get a little bit bigger of a fridge and you get this extra cabinet here um, and two extra drawers. That's pretty sweet. This refrigerator is pretty in fridge. Freezer is pretty good size. Like, honestly, we have enough refrigerator already. The 1150 and the 1140, the only difference is that the oven and stove are over here. So you get quite a bit more storage up here. And the refrigerator is over here. So you get a bigger refrigerator. So if you're a family that wants a bigger refrigerator, then 1140 might be the best one for you. Because it'll be here and it'll be a larger one. So this is a 2024 1150. 67,000. So, um, definitely you want to have 3,500 Dodge or equivalent and a dually is what the dealer said to us, which I would agree with having a 990 on a dually. Um, updated colors. This is the first year that Arctic Fox is changing over. They have some grays and they have a nicer cushion here. Well, nicer fabric, I imagine. The cushion's the same. It is. I can feel that the wood's right here, so it's going to poke through over time. Also, like we saw in the 990, inside of here, they put an adjustable shelf. So that's pretty cool to see Northwood start listening to their customers and start getting some updated colors. And um, I, I don't know. This thing is monstrous. This is huge. It's beautiful. Uh, what do you think? You think it's beautiful? I think you do. I think you could imagine yourself laying right here. Too bad you can't really look at the stars. Like, it's the same as us. It has a fan over the bed. Um, it's a really good fan. It does a great job, but you can't see out is the only thing. I really like that in the series that you get to see out. But this is a beautiful camper. Mm, I don't think you could go wrong with it, especially now with this open space up above. It's pretty cool. Look. Oh, you have a little footstep there. Yeah, the little footstep. Look how much room I have. I don't even have that much room in our 990. So, it's spacious. It's really cool. They do still have up here the same smaller... Um, side rails so those little hatches don't open very far that was one thing that steve switched out for us and i was super glad about just makes it easier to access those um those bins so that would probably be something i'd still want to do is 
switch them out so you could open it a little bit more. Um, same storage that we have in the 990, the same extra cabinet. It's a beautiful rig. It really is. And Northwood does, you know, I, they make a really quality product. I might complain about the colors or whatever, but we live in it and you're not supposed to live in them. <laughs> so for being full-time in a truck camper, it's treated as pretty darn good. From that standpoint, I definitely recommend an Arctic Fox. This is a big boy. Big boys <laughs> come with a big weight. So 3,900 pounds dry weight. I I don't even know if you can fit this, you know, if you're following like your Maybe you need manufacturers it. recommended for your payload capacity in your truck, you absolutely need a dually. You need to take a hard look at what the dually's payload capacity is because I think it's reasonable to say when you add in your weight and a partner's weight and maybe a dog's weight and your water plus all your supplies, you can easily add a thousand pounds to this. So 5,000 pounds. We, yeah, you have to make a decision what's safe for you and yours. Uh, this is a heavy, big boy. But can you imagine that this is in the back of your pickup truck? No. <laughs> like this is in the back of your pickup truck. Look it. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. The great thing on this particular model for $68,000 looks like they're going to throw in the laptop. <laughs> 